You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my face. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be checking in with our December budget and we're actually going to be closing out the month of December. Today is December 31st that I'm filming this and it's the same day that you guys will see it. Today is actually Mila's first birthday which is so exciting and just crazy to think about. So if you want to leave a comment down below and say happy birthday go ahead. With Macy I could actually show her the comments. With Mila she may look at them a few years down the line if that's if YouTube is a thing then <laughs> who knows but anyway if you want to wish her a happy birthday go ahead and do that down below so today we're gonna sit down and just see how we did for December I don't have my final income numbers yet because Etsy doesn't close the month out just yet they'll do that in you know probably the next 12 hours or so but we'll know how we did with expenses so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna start by just doing this week four's check-in here because some of these expenses as you guys probably can tell from my monthly view there's a lot that goes into it and so I just want to make sure that we have everything accounted for that way we could just kind of fill in the actuals and not have to do a ton of math so we're going to start with groceries and groceries are going to be anything in pink now I get a lot of questions about this and I'm going to talk about it as I'm adding so hopefully I don't totally screw up but um, I get a lot of questions about what expenses are accounted for here and what expenses are in like my transaction log. So my monthly view is for all of my variable expenses. So anything you see here. So some of our bills, groceries, eating out, gas for our cars, stuff like that. Except for cash. Cash is just straight cash. I don't keep track of it anywhere. Once it's gone, it's gone all of that fun stuff. My transaction log is just for sinking fund transactions. So that's kind of the way that I do it. I get a lot of questions about why I don't put our credit card, um, like what we pay for our credit card in here. And the reason why I don't do that is because the total that I pay for my credit card is all of these transactions added together. I like to see everything separate, but everything is already recorded from what we're paying for the credit card. So hopefully that makes sense. I know some people decide to like mark if they have like a minimum payment. We don't do any of that. Like whatever we charge on the card is completely paid off every single month. And again, it's all recorded here. So that's something that's a little different. I know people handle finances very differently. And so I wanted to just quickly mention that. So groceries for the fourth week were $128.94. Last time that we checked in, we only had $50.79 remaining, so we're obviously over budget. So if I subtract that out, that means that we are $78.15 over budget. Now, something that happened that was a little, and I should try and be consistent. Um, so that just means that we are over by $78.15. In the grand scheme of things, that's not a big deal. We've been over more when it comes to groceries, but something that happened this month that was unexpected that I did not really account for was the fact that we ended up pretty much cooking Christmas dinner for Jason's parents. And we kind of went all out. We did ribs, chicken wings, and we made enough for two full days so that we could kind of enjoy leftovers and stuff. So that was a really big expense. I think we bought like four packs of ribs, four packs of chicken wings. It was just really expensive. And then we had to buy like the rubs and stuff that goes along with it. So we did use some of our grocery money for that. We also used some of our Christmas money and I'll be closing out my sinking funds in this video as well for December. So definitely stick around to see that. But I'm not upset at the fact that we are so much over for groceries just because of that. Like again, you can't, you can't be super upset about the fact that you create a budget for like one point in time and then things happen throughout the month of course we weren't going crazy i wasn't buying anything ridiculous but something happened and came up and i'm okay with that so that is groceries for eating out it looks like the only transaction that we had for eating out was subway that was 856 so we can put 856 here and I'll go ahead and mark this off. This is how I know that I accounted for everything because every single transaction should have a check mark next to it. I do check-ins 
and I do like my weekly check-in every Thursday. So it just happened to be a great day to close out my budget because today is Thursday, but I do a check-in every single Thursday. So for the most part, I know that like everything Wednesday on should be already accounted for, but checking them off definitely makes it really easy because if I forget to record a receipt and I want to put it on the day that it actually happened, I don't have to worry about like missing it because I will know there's no check mark, which means that it needs to be included in the next week. So 856 was the only thing for eating out. Again, we've been eating a lot at home, which is also probably another reason why our groceries were a little bit higher. Eating out, we had 476 remaining as of last week, so we are obviously a couple dollars over budget for eating out. So we are $3.80 over budget. Again, not bad. In the past, we have used cash for eating out. That way, if we run out of money, that's it. We have nothing left. But with everything going on in the world, the like having you no know, coins and all of that fun stuff, um, we just decided it's easier to use our card and just keep track, and, track of it. And honestly, I feel like we do a little bit better with it this way because I'm more accountable. Doing these videos, showing you guys what we're buying, eating out and stuff, I feel like I think more about like what we're grabbing and stuff just because I'm showing it on the internet. So that is that. Household, I don't think we had anything else for household so no we did not but we are already over for that so that's over by three dollars and 33 cents so again not too bad but slightly over cars um i guess for our cars looks like the only other transaction that we had was this 2942 jason filled up the rav4 2942 last time we checked in we only had 12 dollars and 21 cents, which means we're over on that as well. So we are over budget by $17. Oops, 17, 21. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. 17, 21. Okay, and then unbudgeted, I believe we had nothing else that was unbudgeted. So we're just over, we just have unbudgeted of Jason's medical bill. So not too bad for, well, I should probably put zero. I don't know why I'm messing up so much today. I'm like just ready to hang out with Mila and not work, but I did have to get some stuff done today. So that's what we're doing, 218.96. So quite a bit over budget. Um, Again, not crazy, it's not like dramatic. I know we didn't buy anything, you know, that we didn't need. It was more just like timing. With the gas, some months we were like so slightly under, some months we're slightly over. It just depends on like when we fill up. And with it being so cold here, we've been trying to keep the cars like pretty filled up with gas just to avoid like freezing and stuff. Okay, so electric, we're gonna start over here. Our fixed expenses are all the same, so we don't have to fill in anything. I know those are the same every single month. That's another question I get, should I, so I should mention this. A lot of people ask me, how do, how do you know what is a variable expense, what is a fixed expense? So for me, I count anything, any expense that is the same pretty much every single month is a fixed expense. So our mortgage only changes once a year because they reevaluate our escrow and then slightly decrease it or slightly increase it. But for 11 months out of the year, it's the same amount. Same thing with like Netflix, Amazon Prime, life insurance, tuition. Those things are exactly the same every single month. Things like electricity, gas, those things change every month. They go up or down. And so I consider them a variable expense. Some things are iffy. So you just kind of have to do what works best for you and your situation. But that's a little, I'm trying to cover all the common questions that I get if you're not, if you haven't noticed that. Okay, electricity was 86.02. I'm hoping that going forward, I can be a little bit better about getting these numbers closer to what they actually are. In the beginning of the month, I'm honestly just guessing for what I think the 
some of these utilities will be. And so um, I'm using a tracker that I created of all of our utilities for last year, so 2020. And I'm hoping that gives me a little bit or gets me a little bit closer to what the actual amount will be and not so much like of a guess. So that was $16.02 over. Our NICOR was $87.09. 8709. I kind of figured that the gas would go up a lot and the electricity would go down a little bit. So, I mean, with those two together, I'm guessing that we're going to be slightly over budget. So, not too bad. So, $12.91 under budget there. Cable, we did get a credit for sports stuff this month, but it was still more than what I expected. It was 165. 24 so $5 and 24 cents over I did increase it I believe in January in my January budget so we should be good there this is why doing the um, week four was really crucial for these couple of items so groceries I know that we spent $578 and 15 cents because we're over by that much. So I add that to what I budgeted and I know what we spent. So again, that is going to be 578, 15. And again, we already know that we're over budget by $78 and 15 cents. Eating out, we spent $203 and 80 cents. Again, I know that because of the weekly check-in and that is $3 and 80 cents over. Formula, we actually officially transitioned Mila into whole milk, into like having whole milk. So the only expense that we had this month for formula was here, it was 1949. So that is significantly under budget because I budgeted $80, 1949. We um, waited with Macy until she was a little bit past one to transition, but Mila has been like legit stealing Macy's whole milk forever. Actually, Macy drinks 2%, but she's been stealing her milk forever. So we're like, might as well just transition her. She is good with weight. Like we don't have to worry about her being like underweight or anything. Last time we went in, she was like really high in the percentile. So she's thriving and doing well. Um, okay, gas for our cars, we checked in and we said that we were $17.21 over, which means that we spent $142.21. And again, that is over by $17.21. Household, we were over slightly, so it was $103.33 and over by three dollars and three thirty three cents sinking funds exactly the same i rarely change these unless there's something like major that happened cash dividers were exactly the same again we get the cash out and then it's done and unbudgeted we were over by or the actual amount was 218 96 that was obviously what we are over because we did not budget anything there so now I'm gonna go ahead and add up all of our actuals. 8602, 8709-165-24, 578-15, 203-80, 1949, 142-21, 103-33, 114-100, 320, and 218.96. So that brings us to a total of $3,324.29. And I'm gonna go through and add up all of the overages, then subtract out all of the negatives and get what we were over or under. So 78.15, 3.80, 17.21, 333, and 218.96. And then I'm going to subtract the things that we are under budget by. That brings us to 270.29. And if I do 
what we budgeted plus that number, it should be this number. And that's like the moment of truth. <laughs> Three, nope, something is wrong here. Okay, 8602, 8709, 165. You can probably hear Mila. I think they're having lunch right now. And Mila is always very vocal during lunch. She's always like pointing to things and trying to tell us what she wants. I'm definitely like super sad that she's growing up, but it's going to be so nice when she can finally like tell us things that she wants. Three, three, two, four, two, nine. Okay, I think that number is right. So let's do this again. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay. 1602, 624, 78, 15, 380, 1721, 333, 2018, 96, and then I subtract out 1291 and 6051. 270, 29. What am I doing wrong? Are these amounts right? Let's see. 70. 100, 160, 500, 200, 80, 125, 100, 140, 320. That's right. Plus 270, 29. Where am I missing this? Okay, I'm gonna go off camera for a second to figure this out. This is like my worst nightmare. Let's just see what it's. It's a dollar. We're off by a dollar. This is right. Oh, that's where it is. Put a six instead of a five. That is not good. It's probably because there was a five or a six in front of it. Okay, so this sh should probably, sorry for the issues. I know someone was probably screaming it at the camera while I was doing this. It's not easy to talk and also like try and do math. So, uh, minus 12.91 minus 60.51. So that should be 69. That's why doing this, <laughs> um, doing this on camera and also using pen, not the easiest thing to do. But we are over by 269.29. Again, I feel like that's not too bad for a month, especially because a huge chunk of that is Jason's medical bill. So we're in good shape there. So let's go ahead and move on to our sinking funds. We did use a lot of sinking funds for Christmas. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I did already mark some of these guys off. Um, all of the Christmas I already did. So we came out with being over by $15.76. So in January, I'm adding $250 to our sinking funds for Christmas. So I'm not going to worry about the $5. You can probably see there's some red here. I don't worry too much about the fact that it's red. I know some people would probably choose to like fund those and make those zero. That's not something that I care about because we have plenty of money in there to float temporary negatives. If there was something large that was over like $100, I'd probably add more money to it. But again, not something huge that I'm super worried about. So what I normally do, and I feel like this is probably like the most daunting part of sinking funds and doing it this way, is closing it out because there's just a lot of work that goes into it, especially if you have a ton of transactions like we normally do. So I'm just gonna start with the first one up here. We're gonna start with beauty. So that was 848. And as I'm adding them in my calculator, I just mark it off so I know that we've already done it. And it looks like I did the whole thing last time. So let's go ahead and do that. So 848, then we had 847 right below it. And I'll just kind of go through and look for anything for beauty. So those were the only two beauty items. So we spent $16 and 95 cents on beauty this month. I think I just picked up some like cuticle cutters and stuff like that. 
So if we take a look, we added $80. We were already negative by $58.75 and we spent $16.95, which means that we have $4.30 rolling into January. So good shape there. Um, again, I just kind of go through these and then I'll like put zero in the ones that we didn't spend anything and then, you know, figure out the ending. Next is going to be clothes for the girls and it looks like that was the only thing that we had. So that was $22.79. So here we could do $22.79. We can mark this guy off. And I actually found a huge tote of clothes that I totally forgot that I had for Mila. We went through our basement a while ago and we like sorted all the clothes by size and everything for Mila, all of Macy's hand-me-downs. And the funny thing is I must have missed a whole tote because we finally found it and there's like a ton of stuff for Mila that like fits her now. So that's kind of fun. But um, we had $135.05, we added $100, we spent $22.79, so that means that we have $212.26. Although we did have some things for Mila, I know we we're going to have to pick up some like 18 month clothes pretty soon for her. And so we'll use as much as we can that we already have, but there are definitely going to be some things that like at that age they just destroy. Like leggings, Macy right now, like probably from the time that she started crawling until now, she has gotten holes in every single pair of leggings and we buy them from Target and from Old Navy and I feel like no matter which leggings we get that are like reasonably priced they all do that so it's kind of a bummer but that is something that we'll definitely have to pick up for Mila. Next is going to be tolls and that's another one that is just one transaction so that was $20 which means that we have $1.65 remaining. So we're still good there. I am adding money to that in January, so we'll be all set with that. Next is car maintenance. Again, that's the only transaction that we had for car maintenance. So that was $136.48. We did get maintenance for both of our cars in the last couple of months. So we've been using a lot of this money, which is really nice to just have it set aside. So we had $451.28. We added $50.00. And we spent $136.48, which means that we currently have $364.80. So we can go ahead and mark this off. Next we have entertainment. We've used, we've had a couple transactions for this. So first was $5.99 here. We rented a movie. Next, Jason and Macy went to like this outdoor skating ring. That was $20.00. We picked up some pizza, that was $25, and that is it for entertainment. So that was $50, entertainment, $50.99, and it looks like we're a little bit over there. So $50.99 minus $50, and then minus the $3.79 that we are already over. So that is $2.80 over budget, or negative, I guess I should say. And then Jason did pick up diapers. That was $35.99. Diapers. $35.99. I'll mark this off. I know this is, I don't know, this is just how I do it. So hopefully it's not super annoying to watch. Diapers. We added $100. We were negative $25.52 last time. And we spent $35.99, which means that we have $38.00 and 49 cents remaining. Okay, so now we can flip this over and just go through. This is the part, again, just adding everything up on camera is not super fun, which is one of the reasons why I typically do this off camera, but I feel like once in a while it's fun to show you guys just something different. So I'm gonna go through and put zero for all of these items because I know we didn't spend anything out of it. I like it better than leaving it blank because I just feel like if I do that, I'm gonna think maybe I missed something. And now we can go through and just add everything in. So for car insurance, we had 453.61 and we added 150. So now we have six, now we have 603.61. Our car insurance is due at the end of February for the next six months. So we're stocking up, which is really good. Car tags were 58 
84 in the beginning of the month and we added $35 so we have 93.84. I think the next time that we need to pay for car tags would be in April for Jason's car so we're on track there. Cell phones we had 251.18. We added $50 so that's 301.18. That reminds me, I need to talk to Jason's mom about cell phones and paying those. We didn't add anything for chat books, so we currently have $27.48. Clothes for Jason. Jason currently has $50.04. I am currently negative by $0.50, cents, so I am going to be good in January. And Costco, we now have $55.00. Family pictures, we had $58.50. We add in $25, so that means we have $83.50. I'm going to be using some of this money pretty soon to print out some new pictures because we did have family pictures taken, I think back in like November, and we just haven't had them printed yet. So I'm gonna use some of that money there. Golf, Jason currently has $28. Home maintenance, we added in $50. And we are negative 1951, so that means that we have $30.49. We did use quite a bit of that recently to fix a fence. Our fences around our house have been blowing down a lot, and luckily Jason's really handy, so he just needs to buy like the pickets and he does it himself, which is really nice. Trash was $89.40. We added $30 and then we paid $84.18, which means that we have $35 and 22 cents remaining. Vacation, we had two we added 250. We were negative by 1804. So now we have 23196. And I don't know when we'll go on vacation. We have no trips planned and um I honestly don't know when things are going to be open again. So we'll just be stocking up until the time comes that we can actually use that money. But 250 seems like a good amount for us right now. If we make any travel plans in the future, we may bump that up, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna add up all of the things that came out. 1695, 136, 48, 1086, 77. That is what we spent on like Christmas stuff, which is crazy, but we were very generous this year and that is one nice thing about having sinking funds. And putting that money aside because it wasn't a big hit to our budget. 84, 18, 75, 48. So we spent $1,529.63 from our sinking funds. Crazy, I know. But also, again, a huge part of that was Christmas. And I'm just rechecking this just so I don't get into the situation of having to like stress out about numbers being wrong. 8418 and 7548. Okay, so now we should be able to add all of these guys up and it should all balance out. Moment of truth, so 430, 603, 61, 364, 80, 93, 84, 301, 18, 27, 48, minus 1576, plus 5004, to 1226 minus 50 plus 55 plus 3849 minus 280 plus 8350 plus 28 plus 3049 plus 165, 3522, 2196, 3916. So that should be $2,181.92. And this is where it gets real scary. So we should do 2309 93 plus 1400 minus 1529 63 and that should be not what it is <laughs> to 2181.92 and this is what it says so if i subtract that out maybe we could figure out what it what it is why we're wrong 162 did i miss one what am i missing here Okay, let me try this again. 430, 603, 61, 364, 80, 93, 84, 301, 18, 27, 48. I'm just going to skip the negatives. I'll add those 
or I'll do them later. I just don't want to mess up because of that part. 55, 38, 49, 83, 83, 50, 28, 30, 49, 165, 35, 22, 231, 96, 39, 16, minus 15, 76, minus 280, and minus 50 cents. Okay. So where am I doing this wrong? Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I have to figure this out. It's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so I figured it out. <laughs> I put 04 here and I messed this up. So we're good now. Again, just not a great idea to do math on camera. Like the pressure is real. But anyway, that is what we have in terms of sinking funds for the end of December. So you see we have a couple things that are currently negative and that's completely fine. Total, they're like $20, not a big deal. If we had something that was dramatically, you know, underfunded, we would probably change it. But again, we're not really in that situation. So I do get a lot of questions about sinking funds and how we have them in our accounts. So we have, currently a few different accounts. We have a normal checking account. That is what um, we have income coming into, what we use to pay bills and all of that fun stuff. We also have a separate checking account. Honestly, it's even with a completely separate bank that we have our sinking funds in. And that is where we have one checking account for all of these. What you see is just the total balance you don't see like separate accounts or anything for the different categories. I just keep track of the categories here, which is the reason why I like doing this is so I can see exactly what that total balance is made up of. Um, I don't do it in a savings account because there are limits on what you can do in terms of transactions. It just makes it easier to do in a checking account, but there are lots of ways to do it. Some people use savings accounts and that's completely fine. Some people have like completely separate accounts for each item. That's okay as well. I just figured I'd mention how we are currently doing it. So that is pretty much it for this results video. I think we did pretty well considering how a lot of things changed for us in December, but we were over budget quite a bit as you guys saw. So Definitely just something that I'm keeping in mind just to be a little bit more cautious of expenses and timing of expenses going forward. Let me know how you guys did in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. Look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments